video review for the Deluxe Decepticon Dread. Um, we're assuming this is named Crankcase. Um, but the Dread, or what's commonly referred to as the Dread SUV from uh, Dark of the Moon. And we just have the giant mech tech gun. Um, it, there's two ports on top. It can plug into either side of them. Obviously. Um, and, the, and the mech tech gimmick is just that uh, this gun with the claw on it uh, extends, kind of reaches a grabby claw. Um, and that's about it uh, for the mech tech weapon. And he does also have these claws on the underside here that uh, you can flip up and out. Uh, so kind of like capture claws at the front of the vehicle. Um, a little odd, but uh, but there you have it. Uh, you, you can have some claws flipped out at the front of the vehicle. Um, but all in all, a nice little SUV SUV figure. Uh, transform them. I guess it is easier to go ahead and just flip the claws out. Flip up this whole hood piece. Um, come back here. Actually, right under here, there's a ridge. If you just get your thumb right under there and just pop this rear piece up, that's going to free. Actually, want to lift this whole thing up. The whole thing's going to come up there like that. That frees up the legs down here. And I'm going to flip the legs down. I split them apart. Um, and then this piece right here flips down. Uh, you flip out the toes. Um, and then the wheel here, you want to push in on this. It slides on this post up inside the leg here. Um, you can see right there. But you want to push it in, uh, flip it up into the cavity. You lift this down, it actually slides up into a cavity here. And then this whole piece slides under and around and against the back. Uh, and that's how you make the heel there. Or the whole foot there, really. And then again, flip it down, flip out the toes. You flip this up like this. I uh, just push the wheel up, slide it up into that cavity, and then slide. Uh, keep this up like this, and uh, unplug it, and then slide it all the way around and under there like that. And um, then you have the feet. Those are going to turn around in a minute. Uh, the arms come out and down like this. They're, they, should, they're, they are normally down like this, uh, but you open up this chest piece. I lift the head up, and you can flip this whole assembly piece back up like that. I lift up his head, and then the arms swing up on bars here, out and around, and out and around. And then uh, there's little peg holes, there's little pegs here on the, uh, on the bar, that when you get these upright, you can see, that, you can see there's kind of a little divot here. Uh, you see that? Let me see. There's a kind of a little divot here in the plastic. Uh, where this bar goes, it's going to fit. Just bring it up, and it should once you get it lined up, it, it'll snap in there and lock into place. Uh, lock the shoulders into place. And then uh, bring, bring them down. You want to rotate the legs around up there at the upper thigh, uh, just like that. Now you want to bring the uh, waist piece forward and snap it into place like that. The arms down, flip out the arms. Uh, the uh, You can raise this panel up. It comes out and up, or you can leave it down to look more armored. Uh, the wheel does flip up here to the elbow. Uh, and then the same over here. Just bring this panel up. Uh, flip the wheel down and out up to the elbow. And then flip the uh, the arm down. So there you have the, the arm. The, the wheel doesn't stick down off of here like it shows in a lot of pictures. Uh, his dreads kind of flip out. They're, uh, they're soft gold plastic so you know be careful because they do uh, they do get stuck here and you don't want to rip them while you're flipping them out but they, they kind of rotate out to the side. And then these pincher things you can fold this piece up however you want. I like to kind of leave it up. Fold them out more so they stick out more on the sides. Um, like that, but uh, you can really position them however you want. If you want them sticking up straight, if you want to flip them down, you can kind of fold them down onto his back. Like wings, you can fold this whole piece down, and if you want, you can fold them all down and have them really come up like this, or however you want to position them. I think, I think officially you're supposed to flip this up and have them kind of... Well, that's not right. Oh, here we go. Flip them around and have them kind of come up like that. Um, but I, li I like to have them down a little lower. And there's actually a way it used to be. I, 
There was a way. I think maybe you can pop these off, and I may have these attached wrong, but you could flip these up. I used to, I had a way where they would kind of flip up and just kind of sit over the shoulders, which looked really cool. Um, but you've got some options in where you want those claws to go. Uh, but the base figure himself, itself is pretty cool. He does have uh, two poses at the knee. He's got a joint here and a joint here that are swivels. Um, he's got uh, bicep swivels, hinged arms, some hands. Obviously, the hands don't hold anything uh, to hold any weapons. You plug them in right here on his uh, forearm. Um, th this piece kind of covers up the mech tech weapons on the back, but if you wanted to plug something in there, um, you could. But that, he's just got the two mech tech points in uh, in robot mode. His head is actually uh, this four-eyed jawed monstrosity with the dreads. And these can come out a little further to the sides. I don't know why they're being such a pain to me today, but you can kind of leave them over here to the sides of the, the figure. They don't stick right out. They don't have to stick out straight as far. I was having a problem getting them down there. But um, I really like the head design, um, especially if you get it just right. You can, it, they, they have light piping in them, and you can really get the eyes glowing really cool. But, uh, but a nice little, you know, I like him more than I thought I was going to now that I have him in hand. And I like to bring these panels down. It's more, they don't they don't make his arms look quite as skinny if you bring the panels back down uh, and kind of bulk up his upper arms a little bit. His legs do are still a little bit skinnier than I'd like. But uh, but all in all, he's a pretty neat figure. Um, and then just a quick, again, size comparison in robot mode. He's taller than classic Starscream there. Just so you get an idea. But yeah, there you go, uh, deluxe crankcase.